the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Today's guests are the Kelly and Michelle to my Beyonce. Please welcome Rhett and Link. No claps. <laughs> no claps. Hey, I said, Stevie. I, I told the crew, like, do whatever you feel for the clapping, and that's what they did. No Nothing. claps. Nothing. No claps. We were clapless. I'm going to remember that. Clap. I always look forward to this. Happy Saturday. You know, I just yeah. feel like. Yeah. I just, obviously, Sorry, it's Nick. not Saturday for us right now. Let's no, no, real. we come in on Saturdays. I would never man. come I, in on a Saturday. And, and we used to not come so, in on Saturdays, what? but now we do. It's an ambiguous part of the week for us right now. Ambiguous time. But I love knowing that it is Saturday. Yeah. We have some binge watchers of the show already. I've gotten some tweets about binge watching. Oh, I call that a tear. I'm tearing through some L tat. <laughs> no. That sounds wrong. I'm on a tear, man. Yeah. Do you guys uh, know Just because the, things um, have torn on you that you're thinking about now doesn't mean that what me saying something's a tear. I'm not thinking about anything on me, bro. I actually, bro. as soon as you I've said tear, you, bro. was thinking about specifically an anal fissure. Yep. Yeah, that's what. Oh, I wasn't referring to your anal fissure. Yeah. I don't even know if you have one. I don't have one. That hey. is a tear in the anus. Well, right? I, I mean, it, it, not yeah. that I would know anything about it, but. Uh, yeah, Rhett should probably answer that. I don't that. think so. Can I just call you bro, though? I mean, because I, I, I think I may have never called him bro on the internet before. And I just did, so I think that's going to be my new thing. Okay. It's 2018. I think people are going to love it. Yeah, bro. But Saturday just has a feel to it. You can call me bro, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call us fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, fam. Are you interested in what's coming up this week? Yeah, today? I want to know what this show's about today. today. What's, what's coming up this Saturday. week? Saturday. <laughs> um, we have mythical crew members Ellie and Alex. They went up to good old Weed Patch, California. Yeah, they did. Do you know what's in Weed Patch, Weed Patch <laughs> a, California? A billboard with that's on it. It's true. So uh -huh. they went up and they did a good old piece on that. It's very good. I'm oh, so excited a, to show it to I got a story you. I got to tell you guys. I'll tell it afterward about... After what? The billboard. My mother-in-law's reaction to the billboard. Oh, okay. Go on about yes. Ooh, yes. Another teaser from Link. Yes. Um, I have a while the cameras were rolling clip of our friend Jack Black when he was on the show. Oh. And a special video from a hater of bacon that Rhett called out real hard this week. Um, but first, yeah. I am so excited about today's drink. And oh. I don't know. I don't know why. It's not a sponsor, but it's so pretty. Here's one of my hairs for you. I love uh, this part of the show. <laughs> yeah, you made that clear. I Rebel. I don't even know how to, what is, how do you pronounce that? Rebel. Berries and cream. No, Shazandra. Ah, Shazandra. The name says it all, exotic, powerful, and flavorful. This body harmonizing ness is boring. Let's shake just it shake up, it, drink it. There it is. Okay. Um, shake oh, a lot, like more than you think, is what yeah. it says on it. Mm. Boy, that has a. Is it good? Has a pomegranate. How's smell. Oh wow! Shazandra. That's good. I can taste the shazandra. Shazandra. I can taste the elderberry. I can taste the forest honey. It tastes like something that I've tasted before. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like one of those baby food things that you like that we have in the office that you yeah. squeeze into your mouth. Squeeze them. Yeah. Oh crap! I just squeeze them. Did everywhere. <laughs> um. All right. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. We're not this giving these great. thumbs up, but I will. I'm giving this, this one the best a one thumbs we've had up so far. Um, so oftentimes people ask, like, who's your favorite guest that you've had on the show? Like over and over again, they ask that question. Yeah. We really like Jack Black. I'm not saying we have favorites. I'm just saying uh, Jack Black is awesome. He's been here twice. If we did have a favorite, it probably would be Jack Black. Mm. While he was here, I, I taught him how to use our microwave, microwave, because our microwave is difficult to use. Right. Yeah, it doubles as an oven. Yep. You picked it um, out. It's I the last thing in here that you picked I out. I insisted that it double as an oven because you know I like to bake so much. Um, well, you also What did like, he put in the microwave, by the way? Uh, he had like a full American breakfast. Like, is that called an American breakfast? It's like a lumberjack situation, you know, the eggs, bacon, potatoes. I think he had a little toast. It was like in a plastic a thing. I yeah. took note well, of everything you know what? he was doing. He had a, he brought with him a bag that had his name on it. Yeah. And he said. Like Jack or Jack Black? He said, Jackua Black. Oh. Ja Jack is short for Jack. I've always wondered. He said, I, I, my diet is I only eat things in this bag. But he's like, but when I finish this bag, I usually eat things outside of the bag. <laughs> Jack That's Black, great. man. It's Jackua Black. He can do what he wants. Well, Jackua Black also had some things to say in between rounds when the camera was rolling. And we captured it. And we're going to show it to you now. 
Um, the Flash was my favorite uh, superhero when I was a child, mm. and the cheetah was okay. my favorite animal. And uh, I think that uh, explains why I'm obsessed with speed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize everyone was listening. Until they <laughs> What's the closest you've ever been to a cheetah? Uh, I think I, I I think I saw one in a zoo or something. And one, you know, yeah, pretty close. You know, <laughs> as close as most people. <laughs> on a television, you got we've got Google will throw up pictures like with the yeah. like screensaver on the television. Yeah, that's my mm. And there's this one Chromecast. picture of a cheetah, mm. probably a leopard, where it's it's so close. It's oh, so close right, to right, the. Right. It's called it's, a zoom lens. It's, it's out a, in yeah. the wild. I was gonna say. Well, cheetahs are actually pretty approachable, in my yeah. experience. Nikki, Unless you're a gazelle, <laughs> right? But like you can, you I've can fed a giraffe. watch cheetah attack cheetah. videos on YouTube, and it's very like, oh, it's like a, it's it's not a big deal. It's almost playful. Yeah, right. Yeah, a cheetah attacks children. <clears throat> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, my favorite is watching cheetahs running in slow mo. Mm. It's just glorious. Yeah, they get much better than that. The fastest land animals on the planet. What, 70 miles per hour? Okay. And you know the second fastest? Gazelle. <laughs> Almost as fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's eat. evolution, man. <laughs> man. So that's how it is. I mean, like you saw Morgan, at one point Morgan was kind of like lurking. He's like, uh, we're actually ready now, but it's like we were on a roll talking, like shooting the breeze Man. about Cheetah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why that's not in the show. It's in this show. <laughs> right. uh, it was kind of like a meandering, flirtatious conversation with. I wasn't flirting with, with Jack Black about Cheetahs. No, we were flirting with entertainment, but it wasn't oh. totally entertaining. Yeah, you need to clarify when you use the term flirtatious. <laughs> It was a very flirtatious conversation. I mean, not with each other, not with the parties involved. I mean, flirting with entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> that was my nice way of saying it. As you do. That wasn't, that wasn't as good as the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. It oh, was, you don't know. It was I mean, perfect it was for this. It was just as good. Yeah, this is a great. But here's the thing. We show that. Here's what happens. People start commenting, I want to see that on GMM. No, Listen, no, you don't. Mm. Yeah. You don't want to see it on GMM. You want to see it here. Mm -hmm. You want to see it here. We know what you want. You don't want to see it on GMM. You want to see it here, okay? Stop commenting. Um, okay, well speaking of guests that we've had on the show that we love. And leopards. And cheetahs. leopards and cheetahs and Chromecast. And um, we had a little moment this week. Uh, Rhett uh, got very serious about yeah. uh, how he feels about bacon uh, and about someone who doesn't like bacon and right. really called her out on the show. You don't like bacon? You freaking kidding me right now? You call yourself a YouTuber? You know what I've done to get here? I've had pig anus in my mouth. She saw the video, obviously. She commented on the video. Um, she also sent me a video as well. Oh, Rhett and Link, you guys think you're the first ones to try to make me like bacon. Good luck with that. You know what, I accept your challenge. I would love to come on the show and see you guys try to make me like bacon. I've tried to like it my whole life. People have tried to force me to like it my whole life. But guess what? Bacon's disgusting. In fact, my fiance tried to feed me bacon this morning and I threw it up. So good luck. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> She's well, coming. She's serious about hating bacon, like real serious. I'm just like, glad that she's serious. agreed to come on the show, but now I'm like, oh. We have to actually develop a plan of attack now. Yeah. Talking a big right game. Right now, we're gonna develop it right yeah, you, now. Yeah, don't go into planning mode now. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. She's talking a big game though, so. Her game talking though is much friendlier than your game talking, yeah, I Yeah, 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 she's like, still very approachable, very nice. Where is she? <laughs> She's in front of She's some outdoors. siding. She's some yeah. siding. You don't see a lot of siding anymore, you know? Right, it's it's refreshing. Yeah, it looks like grandma's house. That's great. I, I wish I could be around more siding. <laughs> remember when we got vinyl siding? We had a yellow yeah. house growing up, and then I do it, it was this. wooden, and then my dad just kept talking about how awesome vinyl siding was. <laughs> I he, remember he this. Was like, you put it right on top of the wood, we don't ever have to paint it, and then he did it, and I was, I was like, it is pretty cool, but it looks a little cheap. What what year are we talking right now? Like, are you? Eighty six. Okay, so you were still. Eighty seven. No, it was later than that. Because I remember the conversation. 
You, would, you came to school and you were like, we're getting vinyl sided. And I'm like, great. <laughs> like, these are the type of things that Rep would come to school and tell me. He would regurgitate all the stuff that his dad had built up. It'd be like, it lasts for 30 years. And you can, you, can, you, can, you can power wash it. If a hurricane comes along and it blows it off, you just put it right back on there. Not I mean, wood, it's, it's, wood can't do that, wood will rot. And we're in middle school and he's literally giving me this report. He's like building it up. Even the shutters are vinyl. But I'm sure at the time you wanted to seem like it was really cool. Or I were you shutting like, oh. it down? I had never even thought about vinyl siding. Didn't you want vinyl I was in siding middle school. after that though? You were like, ooh, if he's I got it now. It. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got it now. He's, he has it on the inside of his house. That's how convincing I was. <laughs> His living room has vinyl siding. But Rhett's house was yellow before that. And then it was as gray. He said. You, like the inside the, of your mug yellow. Yeah, but the vinyl can be any color that you want. Okay. You All can, right. You good. just look in the catalog and point. Okay. I don't have a segue from the vinyl <laughs> to my next thing. But vinyl is kind of like billboards. Uh, in fact, some of the billboards are made from vinyl. They are. Yeah, they are. Some of them are paper, some of them are vinyl. That's what. I am saying There's now. 50 of them. Um, yeah, so, so uh, for those of you that don't know, we put 50 billboards up in 50 states. They feature your nipples. Yep. Uh -huh. Prominent nipples. Yep. Prominent, yeah. subtle nipples. Yeah. Subtle nipples. Subtle nipples. My, my, my story plays into that. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so I'm sorry. Update us on your story, because I this is going to be... No, like, I want, I want, okay, I'd love to see the... Um, okay, but you're going to be blown first. away. And when you're blown away, are you going to be able to recenter your story? Yeah, that's I just a good, good question. Yeah, you. It's a tough call whether I should tell the story <laughs> now or after the thing. I haven't seen the thing, but well, if I'm going to be now, I need to be blown away. No, okay, we're still teasing it. You're going to see the thing first. So um, okay. I sent Alex and Ellie and Ben up there to uh, Weed Patch. All the billboards have uh, are in towns with glorious names like yep. Weed Patch. Yeah, Weed Patch is kind of beside Bakersfield, which I think is known for being like. The most boring place in the U.S. Like well, that's what it touts. No, I think it does. It oh, proudly really? touts I love that. Bakersfield, yeah. home of Merle Haggard. Is it birthplace? Yep. His home is for sale there. Oh, is that right? Everybody's sending us the real estate listing. Huh? Maybe HGTV will buy it from Lance Bass. Okay, let's just get to the tape. Two sharply dressed morning show hosts smile happily above the town of Weed Patch, but look closer and you'll find. They're hardly dressed at all. There's kids, gotta be, you know, there's kids around. You can't be doing that in front of kids. I think they're looking good. You can't really tell, but now that, you know, that I've seen closely, you could tell it, the hairs and nipples. It's like awkward, you know, it's like, come on. Put some shorts or something, you know, don't go rock around naked. <laughs> we travel to Weed Patch to investigate. You think their nipples are looking good or the sign is looking good? Well. Naples? Uh, is there anyone who you would rather see in body paint on the billboard? Models? Not like anybody can be showing body like that. You yeah, know? they should be, they should have models in there. You know? yeah. <laughs> You're landing on the nipples there? Nipples? Yeah, I know I got kids here. If I see them around my kids, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing to incriminate myself, but. The billboard also makes lofty claims about the success of the show, leaving local residents skeptical. Yeah, I don't know if a lot of people would see it because, I mean, Weed Patch, it is pretty small. And they claim to be the number one internet morning show in Weed Patch. Do you believe that's true? I don't know. I actually do watch the show. I didn't think we were the number one, like, most viewed. What other internet morning shows do you watch? Uh, I watch uh, uh, country music. I don't know what to say. It's, it's, it's wrong. I think it's wrong, first of all, because, it, you know, to promote something, they don't have to, uh, you know, show their body. That's nasty, Just, I think. I don't know. Are you a country music fan? You sing a little yourself? Bonita la mañana. Have you ever considered that they might be lying about being the number one news show? There's no statistics cited on the billboard. I actually was thinking about that, but... But I wouldn't doubt if they weren't the number one right here. When asked if the billboard should be removed, they had some thoughts. So the city council meeting, well, they'll be voting yes or no to take this billboard down. Will you be voting yes or no? Down. Down. <laughs> See it down. Down, definitely. Take it down. Down. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I love my kids, you know? I don't want them to see all that, that junk. That's all. That I'm sorry, could I give you a hug really quickly? That was beautiful. 
Reporting live. <laughs> <laughs> that was live? <laughs> So All right, let's bring Alex and Ellie back. Oh, wow. Uh, well, thanks for going out there. I, I kind of, I was very curious what people were going to say, but one guy was a fan, and he was still, like... He was still very doubtful. I, was, I feel open. weird about it. I think they misunderstood. Like, also, there was, like, a misunderstanding if they were the number one... Mm. If they, if Weed Patch was the number one watchers of the show, yeah, I in think the there world. was some confusion Like there. the highest concentration of Good Mythical Morning fans, as we've just proven, are in Weed Patch. Definitely. Yeah. One out of three. I also like how far Ellie's mic was away from her when she was talking to that one guy. It, yeah. I was like, and sir, what do you have to say? I love that guy that Alex hugged. I mean... Alex? I was kind of hoping you'd bring him back. Alex, Alex you're on the, yeah, the he's, God mic? He's a famous country singer, he said. I'm not familiar with him, but maybe our viewers are. How did he say nipples? Yeah. Nipples, Naples. I believe. Naples. Yeah. Naples. Naples. Uh, Naples. He kept on with that. But the guy that was so concerned about the kids. Yeah. Right. I feel like I need to, you know, I felt we need to reach out to him and remind him that, you know, the kids need the nipples. I mean, like, like literally, like babies rely on them. So you would think that it, a couple of nipples that don't even emit anything, or mm. maybe four of them, wouldn't be a problem. I think that is the problem. They don't do anything. They're dry nipples. Right, they're dry. You think it's dry, small yeah. nipples? That Not that non-functioning we... nipples is the problem. Yeah, I'm glad that we're talking about this because I like having extended conversations about nipples, <laughs> mm. and we never get to do that yeah. in this setting. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. So my mother-in-law... Oh God! She she went through what a um, bad transition. She went through uh, Bowie's Creek, I guess, <laughs> because um, her daughter and my brother-in-law uh, live around there. And she passed the billboard, and she called Christy, and she was like, "I am so proud of Link and Rhett. I'm so proud of both of them. They've come so far. They've got a billboard." <laughs> and she was she was so proud. She kept gushing and gushing about how great it was, and. Christy's like, well, mom, did you look closely at Billboard? Like, yes, they were. They looked so handsome. <laughs> they were. They were smiling. Their hair looked good. Yep. Like, <laughs> she specifically said, "That's we my billboard. My billboard cut." We were smiling, and our hair looked good. And then Christy's like, "Well, you didn't notice that that was paint." And she was like, "What?" Well, I just, I feel totally differently about it now. <laughs> <laughs> like she had gone on for 10 minutes about how proud she was. And then it was like, and ha not being in front of the billboard at the moment, I'm interpreting what she said and how outraged she was. Kind of like that guy with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that in her mind, we were full body. Mm -hmm. And that we were naked. They could have put on shorts or something. Right. That's what, yeah. yeah. I think in, uh, yeah. in her mind when she went back to it. Well, we were. Well, we, yeah. we were just wearing to be underwear. Fair, it was just hanging all out yeah. in the and, studio. And I said, below. no, well, you don't need to the do vertical, that. Yeah. The vertical one, which is up in Hollywood, that one is. Mm -hmm. full, mm -hmm. That's, that's, a Hollywood, that's a Hollywood special. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing they haven't seen before. Well, you know how sometimes you can buy a, two billboards and like. You could design on both of them. The bottom is like a. The bottom is just. It's like a gonorrhea ad, but it's still. Oh gosh. Us. Okay. Oh gosh. How does gonorrhea work? I don't. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for today. Uh, on oh. that. So uh, on that gonor and in the next episode, we'll be talking about how gonorrhea works. You don't want to find out, man. That train has sailed, huh? <laughs> okay. Are we are. Are we ready for our line? Yeah, let's do that as quickly as possible. Okay, do you remember what it is? No, but I can try. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Keep until on. I'm at, oh. BYMB until the LTAT. Until next, LTAT. Until next, yeah, yep. Yeah. Keep on BYMB until. Yeah, it's, it's until, until next, next. BYMB. Keep on BYMB. Three, two. Keep and on BYMB until next, yeah. LTAT. You, you switched it. It's the, 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 you say until first. Until next. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Until, until next, LTAT. Keep on BYMB. BYMB.